Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakhak, Kadash. Yo, honors to the brothers out there pushing out his word, truth and sincerity. And uh, salutations as well to the men, women, and children learning in truth and sincerity. And uh, this is the brother Ash from Great Millstone, Tampa, just in with an in-transit video. Um, you know, speak about America, all right, is at the point of no return. All right, uh, you had this lady, uh, she, which I believe she ran for president back in 2020 or whatever. Um, Tulsi Gabri or something like that. Uh, she was a senator, a governor of Hawaii, I believe. And uh, she said that um, Biden, the Biden administration, is leading to America to a, a World War III conflict because of the. Of course, well, I'll, I'll put the the link in the description box uh, if I remember, Lord will. But um, hey, as she says, she's absolutely right. <laughs> you know, which hey, that's nothing but biblical prophecy. Are right, we've been telling the people? All right, we've been out there on the highways and byways, breaking down the scriptures and, and telling you that. World War Three was coming, and this is we it was beginning with the elder apostles, Great Millstone on down. We've been saying this for years, all right. When when shit wasn't going on like it is now, all right. People would look at the the missile sign we got that says USSR, and people would scoff at it. Ah, USSR. <laughs> now nobody even wants to look at the sign, you know, because they're in denial. The Amer the American public is in denial of the reality of what's going on on the in the planet right now. Right, you got a, a, the, um, the 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 Russian Navy just received those Poseidon, uh, um, a, a Poseidon equipped submarines, which is Poseidon the, the, is a missile, all right, um, a nuclear missile. So they got nuclear submarines now active, all right, in the Russian Navy. So what say is thou now? <laughs> but it's beautiful because this is all prophecy, man. And at the same time, America is 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 fueling the fire with this whole Russia Ukraine situation, which it's all a lie what they're telling you on the media. So it's there's way more to it, but it's it's actually Ukraine that started it, okay? And then the NATO and in America keep feeding the flame or fuels to the fire, which again is biblical prophecy because it's all leading to World War Three. Like the scriptures say in Isaiah Isaiah chapter nine, this war is going to be with, fought with uh, fire, flames of fire. You know, fuel and flames of fire. Roughly paraphrasing, there's not going to be no more confusion and noise and garments rolled in blood, hand to hand combat. Which yeah, you know they're going to be boots on the ground or whatnot. But it ain't like the ancient wars where stabbing each other with swords and you know you'd be out there the whole day slaughtering each other. Nah, this one's gonna this one's gonna end with nuclear destruction. Alright? And of course they're fighting with conventional warfare, you know, war, uh, um, you know, missiles and modern day sword, but this is gonna be the war to end all wars. Cause at the end of it, yeah, how at while before those missiles come, or simultaneously, okay, the, the Lord is gonna return. Yeah, is gonna return with his host, his army. Alright? And then the Esau eat them. Beast and, and his angels, or Satan and his angels, are gonna have to fight against uh, Shai, All right, and his and his uh, army. But what you see right now happening right now is the Lord is assembling nations and and you know having the sides chosen. So it's a beautiful thing, and then like the scripture saying, the Book of Joel, uh, tell them to uh, beat their uh, plowshares into into spears. They're putting hooks into swords, you know, roughly paraphrasing. And this is what you see. This is why they keep sending, uh, set they, where they send 70 billion. America sends 70 billion to Ukraine in, in, in military aid. And as well as NATO sending military equipment. All right. So the beast, all right, is, is pacing off or button heads with the bear, which is Russia. All right. Magog, Magog. All right. The Medes. The Lord is stirring up the king of the Medes, uh, Vladimir Putin. He's making his his, his forehead hard against uh, Babylon, and ultimately he's gonna come. Uh, Babel, uh, uh, the Medes are gonna come up with an assembly of nations, which is what you're seeing right now. Ezekiel 38 taking place with uh, the Russia getting back these old USSR 
states, okay, to form the Soviet Union again, all right? And being a guard onto these nations such as Persia, or which is Iran, all right, Libya, I believe it mentions, Ethiopia, you know, and these, if you go into the history of during the Cold War, the, actually, that was actually uh, uh, allies of, of uh, the USSR, or what's known as Russia today. But look, they, uh, they helped, you've seen Russia lately helped out Kazakhstan, brought them under the fold, Brus uh, was it Brussels, or uh, Belgium, or not Belgium, uh, Bulgaria, I believe, is right above uh, Ukraine. All these nations are coming back together, man, with the, because it's biblical prophecy again. So yes, the uh, the war is inevitable. Like uh, uh, the Mr. Ant or was it uh, Agent Smith said in the Matrix, he said I'm inevitable. <laughs> hey, this third world war is inevitable, man. Okay, and it's gonna be fought with those the weapons of the Lord's indignation, which are those thermonuclear missiles. You think they've been uh, uh, putting all this money into them, testing them for nothing? Right? The only reason they haven't been shot off yet is because it's the biblical prophecy. First, the, the mark of the beast has to be implemented on a global scale. All right, because it's already here. It's it's already in existence. It's just a matter of time before you saw Edom drops the hammer and brings it upon the, the whole world, which is, will be the hour of temptation. That's what we're waiting for. And the, and the, at the rate this is going, with all these things going on every day, there's beautiful news every day concerning prophecy good news for us this is why this is the gospel because the sooner this happens the better like the lord said or the book of uh, acts 14 and 22 says through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom so the more we see these things popping off the more conflicts we see the more famine all right all these things that are, are, are leading up to the end days the time of jacob's trouble hey beautiful all right because that we we understand that this is getting closer and closer to the return of Yahweh Yao Shai. Well, somebody got judged. Middle of the street. Damn. But anyway, they call it like Yahweh Shim Yao Shai. But yeah, man, this is this is beautiful times we're living in. Right? And the Lord's gonna open up that, that weaponry, alright? His armory. And then in the weapons of the nation gonna come. To, uh, to lay the land desolate The whole land desolate Behold the day cometh that shall burn as an oven They're not talking about uh, uh, Nuclear missiles for nothing And then they did that PSA Safety announcement right In New York For a, a, a nuclear drill Man they, they, you people are finished man And then they got you, you clown ass niggas You know you know, Doing little TikToks. Oh look he, he's freaking out Did a fake little nuclear alert and Jake over there bugging. Man, you people are gonna be in, in, in straight case real soon. Cause not only are you gonna have to worry about that, you're gonna have to worry about civil unrest. Before the missiles even come, you're gonna have to worry about civil unrest, civil war, all right? The time of Jacob's trouble, period. But famine, starving to death, okay? People dying by the sword out here in these streets, getting gunned down, butchered, okay, run over, head, heads getting busted in. All kind of chaos is going to be uh, uh, soon in America prior to these missiles coming, right? Uh, uh, foreign troops invading this bitch and, and plundering these cities, raping your women, killing your children, all right? Pestilences, diseases are going to be running rampant, all right? You thought the, the whole, the, 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 the Charlie One Nine was bad. Wait till these, these plagues come out from just the filth that's going to be on these streets. All right, unsanitary. All right, because it, when this this place stops, when it when it comes to a, a screeching halt, there ain't gonna be no garbage men to come get your trash. There's not gonna be no, uh, uh, uh you know, recycle, reclaimed, what? None of that, man. You're gonna be in tough tough cases, and then men are gonna be getting shipped off to the Middle East to die. All right, in World War Three, so the, a lot of women are gonna be out here. It's gonna be tough for you women. That's a fact. All right. The scriptures talk about even the mighty men shall cry there bitterly. How much more a woman, a, uh, just a you know a bugged out bitch out here, man. You know, not for you sisters that have truly believe. You know, you should, you know, be praying that the Most High send you to a man of the Lord. You know, right? And that He protect you. The Most High protect you, <laughs> because without the protection, the hedge of protection. 
from the Lord, pursuing the Psalms 34, you're going to be caught out here in these streets, man. Because the scriptures talk about all these things, the, the pestilence, the famine, death, the sword, all these things, bloodshed, all these things are for the wicked. So if you be found wicked, okay, you're going to be caught up in all that. All right, see the elect, we're going to be amongst it, but that's not for us, man. We're going through our tribulations, or the, uh, you know, the furnace of adversity. We've been going through it. Yeah, some of us are going to be tried in, in the sense of being brought up in uh, uh, councils and whatnot. But the Lord God, as he told us not to worry about what we're going to say. See, we truly believe that the Lord is going to protect us. Well, you should be anyway. You should wholeheartedly believe you how about me out shine no matter what situation you find yourself in, that he's going to de uh, deliver you out of it. As long as you truly believe on him and call upon his name and have that faith, man. All right? And have that confidence in you how about you shine. See, we believe that. Well, you other people out here, you're all, you're finished, man. So the country is, is going down the drain. The economy is through. Your money is being devalued. Hell, they're, uh, they're uh, seeing the Elder Ma uh, Malcolm's video. The elder out there in Chicago. He he went into how uh, Saudi Arabia is running out of, they running out of uh, uh, oil. And they've been buying it from Russia. And these other nations been using the gold to buy it. Or the ruble. So <laughs> your dollars becoming useless, rendered useless. Because who, Saudi Arabia and U.S. got rich off of that petrol dollar. Now that's done. All right. So your economy is finished. Your the morality of this place been finished. And now you're headed to World War III. And you have a civil unrest. You have division amongst yourselves. And you're still going to have to go battle, fight a world war. So this place is finished, man. So the Lord's will, this was edifying. You know, till next time I say Shalom, I, Lord's will, I put that uh, uh, link in the description box. I can check it out if, if y'all want. So with that, Shalom.